two people are dead after a fire in Lanham overnight. Firefighters responded to Ruxton Drive just before 2 a.m. for a report of people trapped inside a burning home. News 4's Darcy Spencer joins us live with the latest on the investigation. Darcy? Well, Erica, this is just a tragedy for this family, for this neighborhood and this community. The couple who died lived here in this home, I'm told. They lived here for many, many years. They were married for 25 years and had both retired from jobs with D.C. government. And they were about to take a cruise in just a couple of days. Now, we're going to show you a photo of the couple provided by the family. And relatives have identified them as Aurelia Cannon Bay Harper and her husband, James Cannon Bay. Now, as you mentioned, the fire broke out inside their home here on Ruxton Drive right around 2 o'clock this morning. Now, relatives tell me a family member was here in the basement of the home where they believe the fire started. He was able to escape, but the couple, they never made it out. And I spoke to relatives a short time ago. I think what happened is once the flames came from the mattress to the television, according to my brother, the television exploded. And that incinerated everything. And at that point, uh, I understand that my sister uh, was upstairs, and James went upstairs to see if he could rescue her, but he never came back. She was a family-oriented and a church-going person, and she will be truly missed, both of them. She was really, really everything. She just was a wonderful individual. Just a beautiful person. And that's the sentiment that we heard from many, many family members who were out here outside of the house all morning long in a state of grief. We don't know at this point what the cause of the fire was. The fire marshal's office is investigating. We're told Prince George's County firefighters will be back out here in the neighborhood at 1 o'clock this afternoon just to spread the fire safety message. Mm. Send it back to you, Erica. Darcy Spencer. Darcy, thank you.